Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I am Elsie Michelle. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for returning and supporting my channel. As you can tell by the title, today I'm gonna to be doing a five year review on my comments wallet from Louis Vuitton. In this review, I'm gonna go over the pros, the cons, the practicality, and just my overall satisfaction with the Clements wallet. So if you're interested, please continue to watch. So before I purchased my Clements wallet from LV, I had a purple wallet that had a zipper. Um, at that time, I just was really obsessed or I really admired wallets that had zippers on them. And I think that's what, um, what drew me to the Clements wallet. LV does have another wallet that's pretty similar to the Clements. I think it's called maybe the Zippy wallet, but it's it's a little bigger than this one. So that's why I preferred um, the Clements wallet, number one, because it's thinner or slimmer. Um, of course, the zipper. So yeah, at that time, I just thought that the Clements wallet was more practical for me um, compared to the Zippy wallet that's a bit larger than this one. So I don't remember how much exactly I paid for this Clements wallet a couple years ago. Um, I think when I got it, I got both a bag and a wallet at the same time but I can guarantee you how much I paid for it like five years ago is definitely not the same compared to how much it is in 2022 because as we know LV has price increases just about every year what I will do is I will include an image or a recording of the Clements wallet and the current retail price when I purchased this wallet a couple years ago um, I was mostly using larger everyday bags whether it's my never full or my speedy 30 so I didn't have an issue with carrying the Clements wallet I didn't have an issue with space but at the moment, I honestly prefer carrying smaller bags. The comments wallet is just, it's not practical for me, um, which just not, it's not necessary for me to have a wallet this large. Before I moved to Florida, when I was home in the Virgin Islands, you know, a lot of establishments or some establishments didn't accept credit cards. So there was a need for me to always walk around with cash. Um, and then with the Clements wallet, I wouldn't have to bend the cash because, of course, this wallet is large enough to accommodate the full length of um, the cash. But now that I moved to the States, I can function without having cash on me. I just use credit cards. Um, and that's why I'm really considering downsizing my wallet or just selling my Clements wallet as a pre-loved item online. Honestly, the Clements wallet is not a bad wallet. It's just at this moment for me right now, I honestly am favoring more the compact wallets or maybe possibly just a card holder where I just keep my credit cards and maybe like one $20 bill or something like that in between the slots. Um, but yeah, ever since I purchased my key clay, I've been using the key clay or the key pouch as my wallet that accommodates my credit cards. Maybe, like I said, a little bit of cash and that's it. Because I am so functional with my key clay and I use it up to this day, I use it every single day. Because I'm so functional with such a tiny little wallet, I just, I really don't feel the need, or I don't see the need to walk around with a big wallet like the Clements wallet. If I am going to do errands, if I'm going to the store, um, getting lunch, grabbing some drinks, whatever it is, if I am wearing my crossbody or my smaller bags, I can't put this in here. Even if I do fit it into my bag or my smaller bags, it's gonna take up a lot of space. So with a compact wallet, I think it's just more practical, you know, as far as being able to swap out bags. I wouldn't have an issue with space at all with a smaller wallet. I can change it from a larger bag to a smaller bag or a smaller bag to a larger bag without having to worry about um, the size of my wallet. If I'm gonna leave the house, nine times out of 10, I'm gonna have a smaller purse on me. Even with a key clay, if I don't wanna carry a bag with me, I can just grab my keys, my key clay, everything is all together. Um, my credit cards, my keys and whatnot, I just go through the door. But I'm not gonna walk around with keys in my hand and then also this large wallet it's, it's just too much i think it's a little obnoxious <laughs> right now i'm all about practicality if i buy something i want to make sure that it's something that i'm using if not every day on a regular basis and i'm just i don't use this wallet at all it's probably been um knocking two years i think i won't be surprised if it's more that i've actually and when i say use I mean, put my credit cards, put my IDs in there, put some cash in there, put it in my bag. It's probably been two years plus or two years that I haven't really used this wallet. So there's no sense in me keeping it if I don't use it. So I just wanted to show you guys a closer look at the Clements wallet, the wear and tear, and just the overall organization and layout. So let's start with the exterior aspect of the wallet. So this is the Damier Bin canvas. Overall, the wallet is very slim, very thin, not bulky at all. The wallet does come with gold hardware and the exterior zipper does have a leather tab 
and it does have some minor wear and tear but that's expected however the zipper is still very smooth if you look really closely there is a small little piece of thread that is poking out on the exterior aspect of the wallet but besides that and just some minor scratches on the wallet overall I think it's in pretty good or excellent condition now let's get into the interior aspect of the wallet so there are eight credit card slots, a coin purse or coin holder in the middle of the wallet, and there are two additional slots behind the credit card slots that you can hold additional cards or even receipts. So on the outside of the wallet, there was a leather tab on the zipper, but on the inside, there is a gold tab. If you look closely, it is a little tarnished. It's not going to be as shiny as it was initially when I purchased it but that too is expected. One important benefit about this wallet is that it really allows you to be extremely organized. If you wanna separate your cash or your bills from your receipts um, or your coins separated from your bills, you definitely have the capacity to do that. So depending on what cell phone you have, you may be able to even fit your phone inside of the wallet. I was watching a review and when I saw that, I was like, oh my God, that is really, really cool. Unfortunately, my phone will not be able to fit inside of the Clements wallet, but this wallet really does allow you to be organized. So I honestly don't have anything negative to say about the Clements wallet. Overall, I think it's a great small leather good. If you're thinking about getting the wallet, I would definitely purchase it. Um, the only downside I would say would be the size. If you're like myself and you like to carry smaller purses or bags, this may not be the wallet for you. However, if you carry larger bags and you have the space to accommodate the Clements wallet, I think this would be an excellent wallet for you. So that concludes my five year review of the Clements wallet. I hope you enjoyed this review and you found it useful. If you have any questions or anything, please leave a comment down below and thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye guys.